Hello everybody. Uh, there, this is a Suzuki, but it could apply to anything, Honda, etc. Uh, the original project involved changing this switch. Uh, this switch was damaged. Uh, it's 10 years old. Uh, what it was, it was corroded. And uh, we had to take this handle off. And the handle uh, to get to it is a wire. Uh, only tricky part was uh, in this boat, the hole I'm pointing at it is where the wire goes through. Uh, it's kind of crowded for three wires go through and come out. And you see the connections? Uh, just follow the original and find it to the other side and pull it. Uh, the only trick was that this hole, the wire, for a pain to get in and out, I think I'm going to have fun getting it in as well. What One of the solution is to use liquid soap, Don. Lubricate the wires completely and then they will uh, they should go in through uh, much easier. And uh, only other trick involved was this cover uh, that sits on top of this thing. Uh, there's a couple of pins. Uh, right here, four of them, on one on each side. One, two is the reason it's holding, and you just uh, here's, uh, here's underneath to see what you're looking at. There's a little raised area. That's what's holding it. Uh, you pull it off basically, uh, and there are some holes corresponding with that. That was one of the trick. The wire was another trick, and the only other thing is uh, right here side where the where the handle goes right here uh, there's a boot you pull the boot off uh, it's just a cover and there is some bolts in there that you will uh, take off uh, to get the switch replaced and what's the most amazing part was I didn't have to do any of these extra work if I knew what I found out later. You are actually able to clean this switch uh, that I'm holding. Uh, some places they have uh, uh, screw holding it, some of them just pop in. But uh, it's very basic to clean it. Uh, there's a cover, there's a boot that sits on top of the switch. There's two. Uh, uh, bolts holding it, uh, actually little screws holding it. Then there's a boot that covers it for protection of the water. And once you open it, uh, there's two little snap-on deal that pops off. I put a razor blade underneath it and was able to take the switch apart. It ended up being uh, about four pieces altogether. Uh, I wish I would have known that and I could have cleaned it and uh, I end up cleaning it after I did all this extra work. Uh, it was unnecessary. You were able to get to it uh, and clean the switch. Uh, believe it or not, this part does get rusted. Well, I hope this helps somebody. And uh, only hard part going to be getting the wires in. And uh, after that, we should be okay. Uh, I did have to solder the wires back on because uh, when I took it off, I broke them off. Uh, I was frustrated. Well, good luck with everybody. I hope this helps you and y'all have a good one. Well, this is a continuation of the lesson. Um, we have to take the four bolts that is holding to the body and pull the box out. This is the box. Uh, this, there was a bolt here touching the fiberglass or whatever. Uh, we took four of those out and we were able to pull the box out a little bit. Now that you got the box out, you can see the wire. And the wire doesn't go in straight. It goes kind of like an S. So you push the wire in right here. I have this needle nose that I grab it to pull it out. And uh, you will do one at a time. And again, uh, put some uh, liquid soap on them so uh, dishwashing uh, whatever to lubricate it so it can slide better and make your life easier 
Uh, but anyway, uh, getting a wire in and out is a booger. Uh, if you are able to clean the switch right here, you don't need to do anything. I should have been able, I can, I am able to get to that switch open it up probably in 15 minutes and take the rust out of course you got to disconnect your battery because this is a pop this is uh hot wire and if i would have known that i wouldn't have to go through this but if you have to switch a switch for uh, it's a 100 dollars switch for you to know uh for suzuki uh and i had to do all that because i couldn't get the original switch for some reason uh, i got the weird switch uh but anyway um I hope this will help you out. But if you get the box out, uh, life will be easier. And uh, overall, uh, I give this scale, uh, if changing a battery is a three, this is about a five. So good luck. That's the scale of one to 10 I'm talking about. Bye.